Viewing your Mighty Network as a member rather than from your host point of view is super helpful and really important. The Mighty Network platform doesn't have a way to switch views like Facebook does with the View As option. This Mighty Network tutorial is going to show you how to emulate that functionality by setting up a member persona. I'm Marcia Chadley, and I enjoy helping you feel empowered and confident to use the Mighty Network platform for your online connection. Here you're seeing the home area, the activity feed area of my Mighty Network in two different browser windows. On the left, I'm signed in with my member persona, and on the right, I'm signed in with my host self. I have different capabilities on the right, and it makes my screen look different. I have a Manage button, so I can do some of my hosting things. I also have a Plus button and the ability to make a quick post right here. If you'll see the activity feed, the home area activity feed in my neighborhood, the members can't post. So those things aren't available or seen when I'm logged in as a member. You'll also notice that what I'm seeing here for posts as a member are different than what I see as a host. My member persona is not a member of some of the areas that I am as a host, and so those posts aren't showing up. There's also a difference in the menus for a host or a member. So if I click this three-dot menu on a post as a host, I have the regular area that a member does, but I also have all these different management functionalities. I'll click that same menu here, and you can see side by side, the left menu is what a member sees, and the right menu is what I see as a host. So if I wanna show a member how to save an article, either through a video or pictures, I'm gonna to wanna to make sure I'm using my member persona to make that video or take those pictures. Remember, in the app, things look different between the member and the host view also. So you'll wanna log out of your host membership and into your member persona when you wanna take pictures or do videos in the app. Seeing your network from the member point of view helps you to understand a member's experience to be able to help and guide them through a specific flow you want them to do. It also can point out challenges and rough edges that you might wanna adjust. Using that member view is a great way to test things out as you're putting new things into place. In Facebook, with a business page, there's a view as option that lets you switch between looking at things as your host, as you're putting together your business page, or from everybody else's point of view when they're looking at it. In the Mighty Networks platform, you can create the same experience by setting up a new membership for yourself that is a member persona. So let's do that. The way to create your member persona is to open up a browser that you're not already logged into your network on. So if you're using Chrome, you might open up Edge, or you can open up an incognito window. Open your landing page and join your own network using whatever name you want to use. Some people use tester or member persona or come up with some kind of funny name. And then use an email address that is not the same one that you use for your host account. Here's the profile that I set up for my member persona. I use kind of funny little picture here with a dog with a funny nose so that people would get the idea this isn't a real person. And in the About You section, I let them know right away this is my incognito profile and I use it to view the network as a member. Your member persona will show as being online. It will also show in the member list. If anyone clicks it to see more about that particular member, they'll be able to know that this is you looking at the network as a member. Use your member persona to explore the member experience of your network. You've already used it to log into your network. What emails did you receive? Take a look at what the activity feed is like as a member. How does that feel? Join courses and groups. Leave courses and groups. See what kind of emails you're receiving through all of this. It's also really helpful to use this persona if you want to create screenshots for any reason, for help articles or other things in your network, or if you want to create a video tour or 
a video to help people know how to do something within your network, like RSVP to an event or post. Use Do all of those using your member persona, whether you're on the computer in the browser or in the app on your tablet or phone. That way, when a member sees these pictures or videos, they're going to recognize the same things that they see on their screen. One of the handy features of logging in as a member persona rather than just having a view as option that you switch back and forth between is that I can actually have two different browsers open, logged in in one as my host self and one as my member self. And I can be watching as I make changes. So here I'm inside a course. If I make changes, if I make a new section visible in the table of contents as a host, I can then immediately refresh my screen and look as a member and see what does that look like. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, if you have more questions, if you'd like to connect with me further, I have ideas and information for you inside my Mighty Network. Details are in this video description. I also work privately one-on-one -on -one with Mighty Network hosts to help them create successful Mighty Networks that fit them and their needs. I'd love to talk to you about that also.